good morning to you and welcome back to my channel we're lucky to see some vehicles parked on the road on the s25 again west of the s27 let's uh, move closer and go have a look we did manage to get into a nice position to get a visual of at least one cup of the hippo pool's pride looks like the older one of the four that we've already seen this far very attentive towards the southern side of the road and the bit I did see them it did look like they, kept, they are expecting the adults to be fairly close by it's early in the morning they might still be out hunting or on a kill or on their way back one of three we've got lots of time we're gonna stick around here and see maybe we get lucky to see them reunite with the adults for the day second cub back there and the third one popping into the frame Cubs are extremely busy. Maybe they're excited with the prospect of the parents returning soon. Very cute play behavior. Yeah, the risks include for them to be here hyenas, leopard, obviously other lions as well. That's, uh, that's why it's also so vital for the adults to patrol the territories and keep the area clean any possible dangers to the cubs but even though they do that persistently on a daily basis they can't always keep everything out hence the mortality rate being so high full of exploration these youngsters they climbed another termite mount it's difficult to get into a nice angle so I can see them up on top there but not the entire mount a lot of brush in the way. Very busy bodies. Apparently, I got another update of three more youngsters up ahead in the road, a couple of hundred meters from us. Count three here. So, a few other updates of social media with regards to their fathers, the pride males, your commandone males, split nose, and blondie. The tank has also joined recently. Not sure how long he did spend with the coalition or the pride before he moved on and his injury is still severe according to others I would love to see tank and then further north towards the boundary lines of the Gomondwanes territory there was a unknown male that moved in and basically walked on their northern boundary lines probably turned back there but that's very common of male lions different pride males of different areas sort of overlapping the furthest stretches of the home range and they are in the areas no immediate danger to the youngsters when they on patrol the pride males they do have a fair good understanding but if it is males that has the intention of a takeover and capturing females that's another story so it all depends if that male that was seen on the H5 if he was a pride male himself with cubs at the core of his territory or was he a male actually looking for females
the alarm calls of the squirrels in the background. The cubs are still in these thickets, but no visual from the road. So we'll move on. Let's check a little bit of the S27. Maybe we get lucky with the adults, and that was merely the only reason why I was waiting here to see if the adults may return, but that's not the case. They must be preoccupied with something somewhere. All right, so that's another morning coming to a close. We checked the S27 down towards uh, the riverside. No luck, checked back towards where we found the cubs on the S25 just to take a chance to see if the adults may have returned, but unfortunately not on this occasion. So, and it's fairly quiet. Uh, I did hear an update of cheetahs close to Mac Pools and on the S28 actually. So that is the only update that came through. But other than that, thanks again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the Hippo Pools Cubs this morning. But from the Kruger National Park, I'm Christoph Skuman. Cheers for now. <laughs>